So whether you have a crazy computer like me with multiple drives and multiple partitions, or you're like most people who just have your typical C drive, a CD drive, and maybe a flash drive or portable drive. Maybe for whatever reason, you wanna change those drive letters to something else. Thankfully in Windows, it's super easy, and I'm gonna show you how to do that today on 5 Minute Friday. Hello everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for nearly 35 years. And what I do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting, and more. On this channel, we cover the what, the why, and then the how. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, definitely check out my video library because I got a ton of content that you might be interested in. Additionally, one of the things that I love doing is helping people find the right computer for their budget. There's a link in the video description. If you fill that out, I will laser focus and find you exactly the machine you're looking for to meet your budget. It's 100% free and I'm happy to do it. Also, please note, if you are watching this on TikTok, it is stolen content. Someone has taken all my videos along with a bunch of other creators and uploaded them to their own channel. We don't see any of the comments. We don't see any of the revenue. So if you're watching this on TikTok, please stop right now and report this video to TikTok. Thanks so much. Now, let me show you in five minutes or less how to change drive letters in Windows. Now, you may have your own specific reason for doing this, if at all, but I'll give you an example for me. I run a bunch of virtual machines so that I can make videos and do screenshots for you guys. But right now, my virtual machines are kind of stored all over the computer, and I want to change that. I recently upgraded my hard drive from a one terabyte to a four terabyte, which as you can see here, has been split into four separate partitions. This is all one drive here, but each of these partitions has its own drive letter. I've decided I wanted to take this drive right here and make this my virtual machine drive. In other words, all my virtual files, or in your case, all your personal files or whatever, can be on this one specific drive. But right now, it's drive E. The good news is, it's super easy to change. In Windows 11, you can just right-click the Start menu and go to Disk Management. I think it works in Windows 10 also, but if you're not sure, you can hit the Windows key and the letter R. You can type in D-I-S-K-M-G-M-T dot M-S-C. And when you click OK, you're going to see a Windows Disk Management come up. Now, yours is probably not going to look crazy like mine. I have a bunch of drives and a bunch of partitions. But remember, I wanted to change that drive E to something else. So I'm gonna just find that drive E up here. And as you can see here, this is that four terabyte drive. Here is my drive E. I don't want it to be drive E. I want it to be something easy to remember. So for my virtual machines, I'm going to change it to a V. All you have to do is select this partition that you wanna change or this drive letter, and you can right click on it and click change drive letter and paths. You'll get this prompt here and it will show you that it's currently assigned drive E. All you have to do is click change and then you will get the opportunity to select from a list of available drive letters that you can change it to. As you can see here, I don't have a whole lot of drive letters left, but V is available. So I'm gonna click V and you'll see it says assign the drive letter V, click OK. You'll get a message saying some programs that rely on drive letters might not run correctly. Do you want to continue? All this is doing is telling you that if you have a program installed on a drive D, for example, if you change that drive letter, the program is still going to be looking at D and not whatever you change it to. So just be aware of that. In this case, it's just a storage drive. It doesn't matter what it's called. I don't have anything installed on it or installed to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to continue. And it's gonna take a second and you'll see here, it's now showing my C drive, my D drive, what used to be my E drive and the other partitions. And when I close disk management, you'll see I no longer have an E drive, but the drive that used to be E is now drive letter V. And if I wanna change the name on the drive, I can just select the name of the drive here and it will allow me to change it. So in this case, I'm going to type virtual machines. I'm gonna go ahead and say yes to give it permission, click continue, and just like that, what used to be my E drive is now a dedicated drive, and now I can take all my virtual machines and put them on this drive to remove them from these other drives. And that's as simple as it gets. You can easily change a drive letter, even the name of a specific drive or partition on your computer. Now, one question you may be asking is, can I change my drive C? No, you can't. Drive C is your boot drive. Do not change drive C to anything else. And I'm not even sure the disk management software will let you do it, but don't even try. 
leave drive C alone, but whether it's your DVD drive or a portable drive, maybe you want to change the portable drive from drive E to P for portable, or whatever you want to do. You could change your flash drive to drive F to make it easier to remember. Either way, that's how you do it. Super easy. And the cool part is you can always change it back if you change your mind later. So that's all we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got other five minute Friday videos. I'll put in a playlist over here if you like these little tips and tricks. And if you did enjoy five minute Friday, make sure you comment down below and let me know and I'll keep making more of them for you. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.